so many people nowadays are into very different specific diets they are very much interested in becoming more healthy more pure and to be able to have this uh, or tend to a perfect health also many people are having access to a lot of information and it's more and more easy to find especially on internet ways to purify the body the mind and the soul one very famous uh, that consists of a very simple action is fasting nowadays people are fasting for many different reasons they are fasting for increasing their health for religion purposes other people are fasting for raising their awareness or for fighting for a cause some are fasting just with water some are fasting with juices also nowadays we can find intermittent fasting more and more popular is that type of fasting when you have a window of four to eight or even maximum 10 hours in which you are able to eat certain amounts of food so fasting first of all is not starvation we are choosing to fast in order to become more aware, to become more healthy and so on. Not because we want to necessarily lose the weight. And for some people fasting can be very easy and for some can be very challenging. Depends on the body structure. And of course, some people can have all kinds of effects that can happen, especially in the beginning of the fasting. Many of the major religions of the world have been adopted fasting as a very important spiritual practice. Also because it is deepening the spiritual awareness and of course is uh, increasing the health capacity and the health itself. In some sects, as for example in Buddhism, Fasting has been used as a method for increasing the capacity to focus, so it was very much used in meditation. And of course, one of the most common questions that people ask is, why to fast? Why to put yourself in such a condition without food when there is so much abundance around us there is so much diversity into food and for some people it's quite hard to take this decision it is a technique that can be done gradually and can improve very much the entire health capacity many christians jews hindus are all using fasting as a spiritual method and many thinkers and philosophers as for example aristotle plato hippocrates they were praising fasting for their benefits you can see that in nature animals are all the time fasting when they are feeling sick we can see that for example when a cat or a dog they are not feeling well they stop eating and this is how we actually feel and see that they are not well and then we start to put ourselves questions and then we take them to the doctor and then we see that they have actually a problem so in the animal kingdom animals when when they are not feeling well they do naturally fasting in order to stock up energy and to make it in such a way that their bodies will regenerate we will now speak a bit about the beneficial aspects and effects of the water fasting. It is decreasing the fat composition, it is offering us a better sleep, a better capacity to absorb the nutrients from the food, increasing the inner fire, it is reducing the inflammation in the body and so on. Another very amazing benefit of fasting is that it helps us to reduce the appetite nowadays with all this abundance around us it's so easy for us to just go in the fridge and take something and grab a snack go in the city and buy ourselves all kind of foods and cookies and so on well when we are fasting we are decreasing our appetite and then we will be happy to only have small portions of food instead of 
this big amount of food that we feel that we need in order to feel satisfied. Also, fasting may help us to live longer and healthier. And of course, one of the most important benefits. So water fasting is helping us to reach the ketosis state faster than with diets. So when we refrain from eating calories, the body starts to eat the fat from the body tissue, which is called energy. It's taking basically the energy from the fat. We can do intermittent fasting and we can also do yoga or exercise. We can reduce this fat easily. Of course, one of the most important benefits of fasting is that it is increasing and boosting our immune system. And how is this happening? Well, only when we are fasting itself in those hours, days, and so on, we feel more calm, more relaxed. Our whole body enters into a completely different state. We all are very much into finding new ways and uh, new understanding regarding the aging process and as women we all want to find the best miracle the perfect cream the best uh, hours to sleep and regenerate in order to become or stay young as much as possible well fasting among all the techniques is one of the the greatest in this respect and we all know that some people are aging more gracefully than others. So using fasting, it is um, studied that can extend our lifespan with around 80%. So fasting can reduce the oxidative damage and reduce inflammation in the body. And besides all this, there are several other effects of the water fasting that can be found in different studies and books and for any kind of advices please ask your doctor in order to get a consultation for this and how to perform the water fasting so in order to start we need to have a very good water source this can be uh, of course you can purify your own water from the tap through special filters or do your own alkaline water nowadays you can find so many um, special filters for this as well or you can buy directly water from a special source or you can go and uh, have uh, the water from the spring from a mountain spring that would be the best water is essential in the water fasting and the purest is the quality the better are the effects of the whole fasting technique in order to practice fasting we should take it gradually as we said from the beginning and if you want to fast you can start for example with uh, a few days of intermittent fasting then when you become more comfortable with these hours of non-eating you can take for example one full day of fasting meaning 24 hours it's a good start in which of course you will just drink water you aim to rest and so on of course the most crucial and important aspect regarding fasting is that it's very good to be more inside not necessarily to work to um, have your time for yourself it can be in the weekend especially sundays if you would like to fast for more days you should of course be guided into this and uh, we advise you to have a trusted doctor or a professional that can help you and guide you in the best way in this respect and of course nowadays you can find fasting clinics and here in europe uh, you can find on the internet there are specialized uh, fasting clinics that can help you where you will be surveilled by a special group of doctors that can uh, give you the best advices and uh, offer you the best conditions in this respect. 
so it can be like a fasting camp for you or a fasting uh, relaxation vacation that you can offer to yourself in this respect so first of all what to expect from a fasting day well of course don't plan to run on marathons or do very heavy uh, workout because it's not necessarily the case in that day the body will need to sleep much more than usual and you will feel the necessity to rest and of course don't be alarmed because this is the process relax and take it easy aim to drink at least two or three liters of water a day and of course don't drink it all at once you might feel a few symptoms as for example in very big hunger especially after the midday you might feel irritated you might feel um, even depressed um, you might have headache and all these are let's say side effects of the fasting but don't worry this is completely normal and um, myself personally after after like 12 hours of fasting, I feel much better than in the beginning as somehow the whole uh, body settles down to this new way of being. Reading a book and um, relaxing or practicing yoga, meditating, all these are wonderful ways, especially because fasting takes you more insight. It can make you even introverted. And you shouldn't be scared about that. You shouldn't feel uh, strange if you don't feel the need to be with other people because it's completely normal to have this desire to, to be with yourself. And even you can retreat yourself and spend that fasting day practicing different spiritual techniques, uh, meditating or going out and having a walk. And walks are great for the fasting days because they are putting your body into the movement and you start to produce like the oxygen get into your blood and you start to feel somehow more even more regenerated and it is even recommended to have like slow walks uh, you can listen music or just listen the sounds of nature and it can be very beautiful also it's very important to set up goals why you need to fast why you would like to fast you want to fast for health reasons you want to fast for spiritual reasons why would you like to fast so say it clear from the beginning and consecrate the fasting or make it clear from the beginning uh, for the universe so that you know and you and the universe are together in this respect after fasting we shouldn't just jump into the food and just eat whatever we feel to eat and uh, you might have cravings or you might not have so after the fasting is very important to take it slowly usually you can start you can make a few experiments you can uh, in the beginning just drink a tea or a soup without too much consistency basically or you can have a fruit juice consisting of carrot lemon um, an apple for example or beetroot you can do your own combination as you feel that is good for you and only after like two hours you can eat something more solid and warm something soothing something that would be very nourishing but of course you shouldn't eat directly cheese or uh, too heavy stuff that day maybe you can keep it for the evening and of course not too late because you know that in the evening we shouldn't eat uh, too heavy because the body needs to rest afterwards and we will use all that energy in order to digest the food and we will not have a good sleep i started fasting like eight nine years ago and since then i regularly fast one day a week at least and usually Sundays. The best days of fasting are Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. 
fasting on different days puts you in resonance with different energies. As for example, Wednesday is a very good day if you want to put yourself in resonance with the energy of Mercury, with the mind, with also with the abundance and uh, material wealth. If, for example, would you like to increase in general love, relationships, beauty and harmony, all these are related with Friday. If, for example, you would like to increase the resonance with the supreme consciousness, with profoundness and heartfulness, then you can, and it is recommended to fast on Sundays. So it's very important before you are engaging into this technique, this amazing millinery technique, to consult a doctor or somebody specialized in this respect, which can advise you according to your own type of body, what you need and how you would like. So take it easy, rest well, drink a lot of water, stay hydrated, stay optimistic and enjoy this amazing capacity to increase your health, your metabolism, uh, your happiness and feel the effects.